Update 3 on Cyclone Blanche, which is just about to make landfall on the Kimberley coast of Western Australia. At 2am UTC, March the 6th, the storm has winds of 60 miles an hour and a pressure of 990 millibars. That's around 95 kilometres per hour, Category 2 on the Australian scale. 14.1 degrees south, 128.1 degrees east is its location, and there are cyclone warnings in effect, primarily for Kimberley, but also across the border into the Northern Territory. The storm expected to make landfall very soon, imminently actually, and to weaken substantially after that, losing tropical storm status and then emerging off the coast of Western Australia as a remnant low. At the moment, we do not anticipate regeneration anytime soon or at all. So there's the storm right now, 93 miles north of Windham, and it's going to make its closest pass there very soon. It's a stage two on the CDPS scale and damage is possible near the center of the storm. It's pretty compact um, and that's why it's only a stage two and not any more than that, um, but it could rise to stage three briefly before it actually makes landfall. It's going to move inland pretty quickly. The tropical storm force winds leaving the storm in the next 24 hours, probably less. And by Tuesday or Wednesday, the storm will eventually stall, perhaps, but emerge off the coast of Western Australia. And then it may stay out at sea near the coastline for a little while before dissipating completely. We'll obviously watch that for you. Sea surface temperatures right now are very warm indeed. Around 30 or 31 degrees Celsius, perhaps even one or two spots reaching 32 just along the coast there. But that's going to become an irrelevance very soon. As for wind shear, wind shear did look good earlier and still does to a degree. Um, certainly around the immediate vicinity of the storm, it's the landfall that's going to stop it from intensifying any further and will of course lead to its weakening of, we expect at this point, dissipation. All cyclone watches, by the way, have been lifted and here is the latest satellite imagery of the storm moving towards the southwest. As you can see, very close to that landfall now um, in Kimberley and it will move towards the southwest, continuing in that direction at least for another 12 to 24 hours before curving towards the west. Not much else to say in that regard, uh, but you can see the big blob that the storm's been um, rem uh, resembling, um, and that has been really a subject from the storm throughout its whole life since it began just off the Tiwi Islands, not far from Darwin, um, and has been a tropical storm since then. It won't reach Category 1 hurricane status on the Sapphire Simpson scale. It, look what we have elsewhere, Cyclone Inao, which has been looking pretty good throughout the last few hours and is flirting with Category 2 status on the Sapphire Simpson hurricane wind scale. We'll have an update on that one for you later as it continues to move slowly towards Madagascar. So storms so far in 2017 were five tropical storms on the Sapphire Simpson hurricane wind scale. This of course a category two on the Australian wind scale but doesn't really get to hurricane force winds on the Sapphire Simpson scale, all very confusing. Three category ones though on the Sapphire Simpson hurricane wind scale so far in 2017, long way to go. Eight storms have formed in total, counting them all, uh, a long way to go yet of course but um, it is still running pretty low, well below the average, uh, and certainly in terms of ace, it's well below average even now. Um, but maybe it's going to be moving upwards soon. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com and its tracker, uh, the place to be. You can find us on YouTube, search Force 13 and subscribe if you haven't done so already. You can also find us on Facebook, search Force 13 all in text, and it's at Force 13 on Twitter if you'd like to get in touch with us on there. You can also add Fool13 on Skype, F -O -O -L -L and add extension 9094 on Discord for tropical weather chat.